Hello everyone, this is Sam. I am going to teach you how to create a digital clock in Flash. Okay, I am using Adobe Adobe Flash Professional Series 6. Okay, you can use any version, but check whether it supports the Action Script 3.0 because we, because because we are going to code in Action Script 3.0. Okay, first of all, create a new Action Script 3.0 file. Okay, this white one is known as stage okay i'm going to change the size for the stage okay click here or you can use a shortcut control j uh, my size is 300 by 100 okay okay this is my movie size okay my background color is this one okay so this is timeline actually we can have several layers here here we have layer 1 I'm going to change the layer 1 into stuff because we are going to uh, put some stuff here okay uh, before that save this file digital clock okay now select the text control and uh, check whether the property is selected into dynamic text okay usually it, it will be in static text you change static text into dynamic text okay, okay. draw the text control here and uh, set some font size okay I'm going to set it as 50 okay. you can use any font no problem okay the next thing is we have to set the instance name um, the instance name that we are giving here is uh, that instance name will be useful in AS recording ok I am going to give name it as time underscore txt ok this time underscore txt will be used in AS record ok I am going to create a new layer ok for that layer I am giving, giving AS 3.0 okay. okay press F9 to add code here or otherwise you can right click here and press actions okay you can do any one okay first of all we have to create a object for date class to create a object key type the keyword var and give any object name now we are going to show the time so I'm using the name as time you can use any name okay colon okay this is the class name date new date okay fine that's fine okay the time object will give the hour minute and seconds okay to store those values I'm creating three variables var h var m various okay now using the time object I am going to read the hour value okay time I'm sorry time dot get hours time dot get minutes I am dot get seconds okay this get hours function will return the hour value it will return the current minutes it will return the current second okay so finally we are going to show this value into the text box the name of the text box that is the instance name of the text box is time underscore txt and we are going to access the text property so use dot text okay equal to h plus colon the actually the plus key is used use to concatenate those values okay it will concatenate the hour value with this colon and the minute value colon and seconds okay 
okay check the movie by pressing control plus enter okay okay it will shows the time 18 0 15 the 18 is the hour 0 is the minute 15 is the second okay okay but uh, the problem you are getting here is minutes is showing in single digit okay okay to avoid those problems i am going to add two more codes h that is if r is greater than 10 or oh sorry less than 10 means i am placing zero in front of that our value do the same process for the minutes and seconds also okay minutes finally seconds okay now check the movie we pressing control and enter okay it shows the output in two digits next thing is i want 12 hours clock for that you check if h is greater than 12 means subtract the value of h by 12 okay now check the movie okay the time is 6 okay one more thing is i want to show whether the session is am or pm okay for that i'm using session variable okay i'm initializing the session variable by am okay. if the hour is greater than 12 means session should be pm okay press control enter oh sorry we missed that uh, session in uh, Now see, we are getting 6 to 55 p.m. But uh, the time is not rendering. That's the problem. Okay, we can avoid that one. So press, click here and press F5. Okay. Now check the movie. Okay, it's showing the time. The one more thing is in output, it's showing font should be embedded for any text that message. Okay. For that, you select this text box and go to embed and embed those things: uppercase, lowercase, numerals, punctuations. Give whatever name you want here. Okay. I'll check the movie. Okay, fine. Okay. This is a procedure for creating a digital clock in Flash using AS. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.